Over in the Nissan Cup, the battle to get rid of the ever-present favourite tag wasn't over. No wonder they dominated the last race to the Yota 1000 Desert, where championship leaders Hannes Hobler and François Jordan were victorious. Uh, on the Darling uh, off-road down in Cape Town, uh, we had a very, very good win. Um, that put us in front of the championship. And then on the Sugar Belt, it didn't uh, go that well. We went off the road uh, on, the, on that uh, second day, and we lost about 10 minutes. And then we recovered, and we came up uh, into a, a third position, uh, very close to the fort. And uh, we, uh, 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 Duncan, Duncan and them fell off the road in the same ditch as what we did. And uh, we pulled them out, and we lost a few minutes there. Um, but yeah, I think it's uh, the second is better to do a non-finish. And is there a comparison between them and the beleaguered Springbok rugby team? Four-time SA champ Hannes seemed to think so. I think we're a little bit like the Springboks, you know, we had to get a bit of a hiding on the first day on the desert race. Uh, we got lost a bit and we lost about five minutes. So we started uh, 16th, in the 16th uh, position. But it's not so good there because there's a lot of dust that's very dry up there. Uh, but we concentrated and me and Francois just decided yeah, that we're going to see if we can get to the front on the first day. And we did it and the second day we just uh, controlled the race from the front. And that's certainly the place to be in off-road racing. Or is it? And we wanted to know how important is a good start. It's uh, very important to get a good start. Um, the only thing that, when you're running in the front, like what we're going to have on the Limpopo rally, and, and it's not lap, then the navigator must be very, uh, very sharp uh, to keep you on the road. Uh, and, and that can keep you a little bit, or make you a little bit slower than the guys behind you, because they can follow your tracks and they're sure that they're on the right road. You know, when you're in the front, there's no tracks in front of you. You have to concentrate on markers and the route schedule. <laughs> And what is the ideal relationship between the nav and his pilot? Because it's human to err, isn't it? Yeah, we're good friends, you know, and, and, and this type of uh, racing, off-road rallying, whatever, you have to have a good relationship to understand each other because both of us can make mistakes, you know, and when you make a mistake uh, and the other guy is fed up with you, then it doesn't help the whole thing in the car, you know, and uh, then you doesn't concentrate that good. And how will they approach the Limpopo Lombarda? Well, I don't think the Limpopo is going to be easy this year. I believe that uh, the guys are not uh, having laps. So what we're going to do is you're going to have a 400, 450 kilos just straight on through the bushes and you have to get uh, your road, you know, and uh, it's not going to be easy because when you've got laps, you know, you, you really know what you're going to do on the second lap. Uh, and as I said, yeah, you need to be very sharp uh, when you're running in the front and there's no tracks in the front, you know, in some places, you know, the people take you through where a baboon can't walk with a stick, you know. We'll take your word for it, Hannes. However, does he feel pressure to win his championship back after losing it to Alfie Cox last year? Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward uh, to try and win the championship this year. I don't think it's going to be that easy. We're leading by quite a few points, so we've got a reasonably good lead, you know, but uh, when you fall out on one event, you know, you lose that uh, advantage you've got, you know, and uh, the other guys like uh, Toyota, Mark, uh, Cronier and Corbett with the newness and you know, they're all going to be good competitors, tough competitors and I think they're going to really give us a run for our money, you know, the, the cars, their cars are getting better, every event they're better, uh, the guys getting used to their cars, so you know, I, I think there's going to be onslaught on, on, on us for the rest of the season, you know, and, and Duncan is there and, uh, you know, he's, he's a very good, he's very competitive, you know, and he's very good. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to be easy, you know, it's not even halfway through. How competitive has the SP class been and how different is it from the standard car that Krobler has piloted to so many victories? Well, the, the, uh, this new SP class is, um, we allowed to use the four litre engines in there. Um, with the other car, the class T car had the mid engine basically. Uh, this car's need, the engine needs to be in the front like a standard uh, car, you know, and, and when you're doing that, you take all the place away in the front that you can use long arms and long steering rods in the front. So it gives you less travel on your suspension, and, you know, and we thought, yeah, that uh, the car's not gonna have 
the same ride and maybe reliability than the class T cars, you know. And I was very, very surprised that the cars handled that good, you know. But in motorsport, it goes like that, you know, uh, in Formula One, where the technology, they're making the engines smaller, but the speed keeps the same, you know. And that's the same what's happening here, you know. The guys are working every day, the engineers working on the suspensions, on the engines, everything. And, uh, you know, you think the car, they're making the car slower, but in fact, uh, you know, with all the technology that comes out from the engineers, yeah, you, your car stays the same and, and be even quicker. And all those years and years of experience, how is that added to the spirit in the Nissan camp? And how does he apply that these days? Oh, well, I think uh, from the Nissan side, we definitely got a little bit more experience and time on our side where we had the cars been built uh, before some of the other guys and you know that helps and also on my side I think a little, little bit of experience that I've uh, collected during the, all my years uh, helps at the moment also you know it's the, the younger guys are driving with their heart at the moment I'm driving with my head and as the other drivers testify he does that very well is he sorry that he will not line up in the Africa Heritage cross country race yeah definitely I would have loved to, to to drive in the heritage rally you know as, as we said previously you know i like long events you know it suits me uh, especially with my experience and uh, yeah but i understand that uh, you know in the beginning of the year glenn had to put a budget together and uh, you know he's just got a certain budget you know so and it, it ma makes it double ex as expensive as what we're doing one event if you do two events together you know in the castle toyota camp bevan bertolt has had a lot to learn but he's enjoying the big SP class car. We're on the up and up.